Riding alone in the woods. Is that dangerous? Bug out motor. As you can see here, guys, I'm getting ready to head off road. Yeah. <laughs> That's what sounds about the WR250i, another dual sport. You can go off road anytime. That's what a fun and challenge is. The cardio workout, baby. But, you know what, guys? You see me riding in the woods a lot, guys. You know, our local woods. But as you can see, there's houses nearby. And, uh, so, if, you know, shit goes down out here in the woods. You know, it's going to be a higher chance that I would be found out here. <laughs> but, there's some things you need to know if you're going to go ride off-road out in the woods by yourself. Uh, let me I get through there. Whoa! Whoa! Woo! That's some mud. Oh, snap! I don't know if I can make it through that. <laughs> but, I'll tell you guys that... You should probably do a few things before you go ride out in the woods alone, you know. Like I said, don't go far away, stray far away from houses. And uh, also, you want to make sure you carry uh, a cell phone. Most It'd be best if you get a Samsung Gear S3 like I have here. Which, by the way, I'll include a link to all these things I mentioned in the description and comment section of this video. But this makes it easier, so if you get fall, you, you're hurt, you can't get up or anything, it's easy to pull your, your arm over and make a phone call. Also, I would highly recommend... Let me get out of this mud, baby. Let's get some log action. And uh, I would recommend that you carry a whistle. Ah, damn, this is some hair, y'all. Some of you guys are like Cycle Cruiser. You can ride your CBR 1000 RR through this yeah right <laughs> oh man but uh yeah guys it, it is kind of dangerous right now here in the woods alone shit happens you definitely it's better to have a buddy with you Woo! now I'm stuck <laughs> I've never been over here by the way so this is all new man but yeah, you definitely want to carry a, bring a buddy. You definitely don't want to ride out here towards nighttime. You want to start early in the morning if you can. So that way if you get stuck out here, it's a higher chance that somebody can find you out here. As opposed to you having to spend a night out here in the woods. Ohio, you'll probably be safe spending a night out here in the woods. But if you're in like Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, Canada or something. Where you got grizzlies, wolves. And all the mother creatures out there that could gobble you up. You know what I'm saying? It's probably not too smart to mess around in those woods by yourself. Here in Ohio is pretty safe, even though I've heard of a stray grizzly. Uh, not a grizzly, but a, like a black bear. Here and now, I have yet to see one. Yeah, like a boss, baby. <laughs> when in doubt, throttle out, baby. Ah. <laughs> like a boss <laughs> see like that if you jump off your bike that's another thing guys <sighs> when in doubt inject yourself from the bike and you'll be a lot safer for it <sighs> <sighs> you hear me I need to do some cardio that's a good cardio workout guys it's super super duper muddy out here as you can see I live for this stuff though man I'll tell you guys this is just raw woods riding this is as technical as you you get you never know what you're gonna get you got vines everywhere logs everywhere and uh, it's fun but tell you guys a real man stands alone you know I in the future, when I do some real trail riding, I will be riding with a group. I will not be riding alone deep in the woods. Like I said, this is residential. These, by the way, this is not private property. This is our park system we're paying taxes on. By the way, don't cross up. Here we go. So just to let you guys know, 
because a lot of you guys think I'm riding on private property trespassing and I'm not are we allowed over here I don't know <laughs> and there's no stop no sign telling me not to so like I said it's public land but there's some log action well I love this stuff guys yeah, that's what's awesome about dual sport, guys. You can just head to your local woods. Avoid private property. I do not recommend riding on private property. But if you can, if you guys are like Northeast Ohio and you have the Metro Park system, then you'll be good. You can ride over here. I just found this spot, by the way. Ah, I love it. Good times, baby. As you can see, huffing and puffing. I need to start running and getting that cardio back up. But I tell you, riding in really muddy conditions and tough terrain like that, thank God that cop didn't see me coming out of there. <laughs> she probably wouldn't have did nothing though. Just tell me to get out of there like they normally do. I'm just, I just, I heard there was a trail over here and I, I don't see it, so. <laughs> I'm out of here. Okay, I'll get out of here. Okay. And that's another good thing about riding alone in the woods. You don't draw a lot of attention. If you got a whole pack of bikers up in there and you got your two strokes, hang, 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 making all that noise up in the woods, it's going to draw the wrong attention. And uh, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, if, and by the way, if you're on private property, you may end up with some buckshot in your butt. <laughs> you definitely don't recommend messing with private property. Which, by the way, I'm think I'm planning on buying my own private property. I want to buy like at least 100 acres. So I'm scouting around for anybody out there that can direct me to a really good deal, at least here in Ohio. I'd appreciate it. If you're selling some land with some trails on it, let me know, cause I will buy, baby. But anyways, for those of you guys who want to get my gear, I got my summer gear right now. My uh, CE armor jacket, my high-vis gloves, pants, uh, leather boots, you know, leather everything, helmets, everything. I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos. Uh, or also, also go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Gear. And those are current links to all of my gear and stuff. So go check that out. Uh, for those of you guys who want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are a, a, a bunch of playlists with my over 1,100 plus videos categorized into those playlists. So hopefully you can find something that will inform you or entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends and tell them that you might want to take precautions before you head out into the woods alone, guys. It's not always a smart idea. Like I said, stick close to residential areas where maybe a hiker can see you if, if you get bopped, knocked out or something. Don't forget to subscribe to my All of One Motorcycle channel over at youtube.com forward slash cycle cruiser and also like me at Facebook. Catch you guys later.